A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Monday, April 3rd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. After a fire heavily damaged the brand new Mint Leaf Kosher Market in the village of South Blooming Grove in the morning hours of March 23rd, the community came together to reopen the store in a temporary tent located in the parking lot. Store owner Joel Roth spoke of the fire that devastated his building. He said he was upstairs in his office with his 15-year-old daughter, who was off from school that day when they first saw smoke. Within minutes, the entire store filled with smoke, and his main concern was making sure everyone got out safely. Roth said there are about 400 families that depend on the grocery. We knew it needed to open quickly, he said. That's when they sprang into action and had a tent erected, shelves brought in, and groceries placed there for purchase. The Newburgh Unity Armory was packed with hundreds of people over the weekend. Veterans of all services, families, friends, area residents who turned out to honor the men and women who fought in the Vietnam War. The pinning ceremony was to mark the 50th anniversary of the war in Southeast Asia. The event was billed as a pinning ceremony to thank those who served and to remember those who did not return. Sadly, many Vietnam veterans were denied a proper welcome when they returned home after bravely serving our country on the battlefield, said Orange County Executive Stephen Newhouse, a naval officer who attended the event. He said their service and sacrifices will never be forgotten. A Glen Spey man has been missing since the early morning hours of last Thursday, and a search continues looking for him. Harold Hoyt and a friend who was traveling with him experienced a flat tire while navigating on a back road area of Sullivan County along Galligan Road. The two ended up becoming lost in the woods with only one making it to safety. The long-awaited transition of the New York RX pharmacy fee-for-service model that enables Medicaid recipients to access more prescription medications with fewer restrictions has gone into effect. Pharmacists and Medicaid recipients are relieved after recent concerns about whether or not the transition would be implemented after it had been delayed for nearly two years. State Senator James Scoopis has long supported the transition to New York RX and previously sponsored legislation for fee for service pharmacy reimbursement. First term Wallkill Town Supervisor George Serrano has announced he's going to run for another two year term this fall. The Republican official said his administration has done much for the town, but there's more to be addressed. We secure some um, funding from the state to complete the Vietnam veteran war in the town of Wallkill. We have also secured some funding to replace some of the playground at Circle Road Park to make it more attractive to all the kids, all the residents. And plus, there's so much we've done in regards to recognizing our community, recognizing our small businesses. And, you know, one of the main things is also, you know, I ran on smart development. Serrano says that was the purpose for the six-month moratorium on new warehouses until a new town master plan is crafted. Meanwhile, Democratic Town Councilman Neil Meyer is expected to challenge the incumbent in the November election. He's here! The Easter Bunny is visiting the Galleria at Crystal Run every day, now until Easter. And he's not camera shy. Get your picture taken with Mr. Peter Cottontail. Children, families, even pets are welcome. And now you can make an appointment ahead of time at whereisbunny.com. Reservations are strongly encouraged. Go to galleriacrystalrun.com for all the details. New Vance Health is closing its Thompson House skilled nursing facility in Rhinebeck. The facility opened in 1994. It has 38 patients. A mid-May closing is anticipated, and all residents are expected to be provided new homes. Staff members will also be transitioned to comparable open positions in the health system, hospital officials say. It has not been an easy decision, said Richard Clayland, interim administrator. Mayor Torrance Harvey's plan to have the Mount Vernon-based Rough Riders of the Hudson Valley establish a branch in the city of Newburgh, never got off the ground. The group's mission is to provide alternatives to violence through various programs, including music, geared to young people. While the mayor believed it was a worthwhile program to help resolve the gun violence issue in the city, he couldn't secure the local backing needed. 
I didn't have the support, to be very frank, uh, with the council members and the executive staff and putting, putting our money where our mouth is. And and so, you know, we we continue to work with the uh, great organization known as SNUG, which is, you know, uh, guns uh, spelled backwards, a uh, systematic way of um, uh, of eliminating guns and gun violence in our city as, as as a choice to, to uh, escalating conflict. In recent months, Harvey has created a mayor's council on gun violence, where he's brought together the faith community and other leaders in an effort to reduce gun violence in Newburgh. A Brooklyn man who was charged along with a co-defendant in a 14-count indictment, including charges of robbery and assault, has lost his appeal of his conviction. Toquan Hillard and Khalif Watson allegedly entered an AT&T store in Monticello, pulled the gun, ordered the employees and customers into a back room, bound them, and stole over $3,000 in merchandise from the store and a customer. It was also alleged that a police officer was injured while pursuing the two men after they fled the store in a car. In satisfaction of the charges, Hillard pled guilty to one count of robbery and one count of assault and waived his right to appeal. At sentencing, he withdrew the motion to withdraw his appeal and was sentenced as a second violent felony offender to ten and a half years on the robbery conviction and a lesser concurrent term on the assault conviction. The appeals court rejected his assertion that his sentence was overly harsh. The town of Wallkill has a new controller, but she's a familiar face at town hall. The town board promoted deputy controller Cheryl Gross to the top spot in the office to fill a vacancy. Town Supervisor George Serrano said she has numerous years of experience and expertise in the field and will serve the town well. Earlier in her career, Gross served as controller in the city of Newburgh. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.